Uh, good morning, everyone. If anyone is in the back of the hall, please ask them to move to different seats because we're about to start. But before we start, I'd like to remind you that in the evening we'll have an extraordinary concert. And it will be like a fusion of the European uh, transpersonal fusion, the soul of Europe, like I want to remind you that tonight we will have uh, just tremendous concert by uh, a kind of, uh, by Eurotas members from all of the uh, uh, European countries. And so everybody encouraged to come to Yuri, who is leader of this uh, concert, and uh, yeah. to negotiate with him about what you will а насчет э, участия в самодеятельном концерте можете обращаться к Юрию. Который, э, будет ведущий этого концерта. И э, скажите, что вы будете представлять свою страну. Все, всем доброе утро. Я хотел бы приветствовать всех, кто приехал в Россию. Начинаем с Марины Белокуровой. Она известный член КТК Human Technology Москвы и имеет различные дипломы в этой области. Да, пожалуйста, начните. Спасибо. Thank you. Доброе утро всем. Good morning, everyone. Нормально, да? Как вы видите, на экране очень необычная тема. On our screen, the topic is quite unusual. And I didn't make it up. Она пришла. It just came to my mind. I don't know how these ideas come to your mind. Sometimes you're afraid to become a Cassandra, who is a disbeliever. But I feel that uh, today, this is such an important aspect. And it may be that it is us who have to think it over. Uh, the energies are building up in their intensity around us. There are more and more of such energies. And we're quite uh, helpless before such energies. I don't doubt that we all love nature, of course. Uh, but in, its, in its great splendor. It may perhaps be one of the uh, most important uh, events in our life to enjoy this splendid earth, this uh, beautiful earth that we live on. And I'd like to show you what we're uh, doing to the earth. This is uh, what happens today, the debris in the uh, uh, world oceans. And uh, the plastic uh, waves build up uh, whole islands on the surface of the oceans. Ocean pollution. That's what happens now in the Caribbean. That's how the uh, uh, ocean waves look nowadays. Даже эту 
Even uh, this uh, short movie clip is enough to be shot. Because uh, it may seem to be happening to someone else, not to us, but our Earth is very small. And when you get older, the more you start to realize that. And the same garbage and pollution happens in all other aspects of our lives. This is the information pollution. And uh, the social uh, pollution or garbage. And and uh, the, like to give you quite three unexpected, maybe uh, three a thesis, a thesis and uh, the reasons behind them. And uh, the first uh, cause for all this uh, accumulation of pollution is uh, our helplessness and the failure to realize what to do with the build-up of this uh, negative energy. And the, uh, all of the garbage uh, uh, is a pollution that just uh, follows its uh, another channel. And this is, of course, uh, this, of course, includes the informational uh, pollution. And before becoming a uh, psychotherapist, I was a mathematician. And it was just uh, the search, uh, the start of the uh, search systems and uh, information technologies. And at that time, it was quite e easy. You could just uh, Google up any scientific article or link. And just try to do it right now. And the social pollution is about the following. Uh, the waves uh, just uh, breaks down on us in many social areas. And the very complex and intricate uh, uh, ties in the society and relationships. And this uh, process is also escalating. So, when I was thinking about these uh, uh, theses, uh, the following thoughts came up to my mind quite unexpectedly. And it seems to me that these uh, huge waves of pollution in all aspects of our lives, it's the unconscious um, strive of the society to integrate, to unite. And of course, there's a superfluous uh, layer in that, as if we uh, wanted to say. Take a look. These are world issues. We should have a, uh, be finding a common solution to them. But at the level of unconscious, this seems to be as a chaos which just erupts from all forms and reflects our unstructured desire to be just together without any barriers or limits or walls. And because we're not fully aware of the forms that exist that could help us uh, to make this move and step. Instead of integration, we receive piles of garbage. And uh, in addition to our informational uh, garbage and pollution, in reality, highs a colossal fear of uh, not being happy where you are, what job you have, your destiny. And this uh, fear enters the huge informational flow where we try to find our place. 
seeking uh, to uh, find oneself uh, in, uh, in all external and at the same time being afraid to look into oneself. Another conclusion that came up to my mind then, this seems like a protest of all living things, whatever we mean under this term. Uh, a pro protest against all artificial forms that are being created by the modern society. All this uh, process reminds me like uh, some uh, deep psychological uh, traumas, uh, the uh, trauma of adolescence, uh, the, uh, the fear to take on responsibility. And uh, all the revelations are quite uh, 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 similar, like it's, uh, if it were a human person, look all the uh, symptoms of the uh, predibinal uh, trauma. Uh, some uh, we uh, in our lives we can cleanse very easily, or clean it out. But some uh, some just uh, something just remain remains in a state of chaos and disorder. And it seems to me that the whole world is in this uh, childlike state, it's just stuck in there. Although it manifests quite uh, a different. But the fear is created through other channels, but is revealed in uh, many other else. For example, we're a society of overconsumption and overproduction. And it uh, becomes more increasingly difficult to be aware of the social communication. And we don't know what to do with the uh, physical uh, waste and garbage. How to dispose of it. There's, there's uh, one uh, hopeful country like Sweden where they uh, learn how to do it. And uh, this year, this uh, issue has uh, slowly crept up to my uh, home city, and Moscow. And unfortunately, no one is aware what to do, how to tackle this problem. Back in uh, 1947, uh, a great man, Norbert Wiener. Uh, he was the author of the term cybernetics. As a, as a system to control any living or non-living structures. Humanity had much hope on the cybernetics at, uh, at that time. Because uh, the goal of science, its mission is to study uh, the complex systems, whatever they are, living or non-living. What happens to us today in the whole world tells us that there is a colossal need for the next step. At one time, I was, uh, I was very impressed by one of the Wiener's uh, paragraph or phrase. Back in 1947, there was not this huge problem, but he was saying even then, like it, in a certain t uh, period of time, two office employees, scientists working into adjacent offices, they fail to have a common uh, language to understand each other. 15 years ago, <coughs> in the city of Novosibirsk in Russia, at the meeting where, uh, dedicated to the uh, multimodal therapy, 
Uh, there were uh, big arguments and discussions if, if uh, any uh, gestalt therapist can, uh, can be a provisor for the therapist who uh, do monadic transactions. And I understood the uh, uh, Weiner's uh, fears across modal intervision or supervision was not even discussed then. Maybe the next step would be only the following one. To change our systems of perception and awareness of knowing the world. And I would want to say what, that we need uh, perhaps a world vision, and, that, and that's our mission uh, to create it, to think uh, it's over. If we turn back to another fact, to my empirical note on what the uh, so uh, social development is, uh, of course, we have to uh, uh, notice here the concept of homeostasis because it's homeostasis which is the foundation of the current development in the society. And, and there's a feedback between the society, the nature, uh, the society's members. Now we have quite a negative feedback in this respect. As homeostasis is, is a, a balanced flow and interaction between the elements of such systems. If we uh, die off suddenly as humanity, maybe that will be the best solution for the homeostasis. But we, we all want to live. And if we want to live, we, of course, must uh, find new forms, devise them, when we will uh, create a homeostasis of the new level, upper level. But here I'd like to stress the following. The thing is, we're not aware of the goal, why we're doing this or that thing. And no matter how we strive to know everything in the world, we still know, don't know about many things. And one of the reasons uh, for the uh, buildup of these uh, negative feedbacks is, is this huge demand for the information when we try to be self-aware, to try to understand what, why or what for is all this for. That, that is why we want to establish the links, the bridges uh, to these uh, valuable channels of uh, feedback, of uh, information exchange, various forms are created, new ones. We uh, foster and establish a new contacts, network. We accumulate things. We uh, have a, a good portfolios of business cards. We store ideas. <coughs> and we hope, we all hope, that somehow this huge quantities will uh, gain quality at one time in future. No. But this qualitative step, I, how I feel it, is needed much now, even now. And if I uh, wrap up uh, the three flows that we witness now in our world, in our reality,
The engulfing wave of physical waste and garbage. And I repeat myself, it's because of our helplessness, uh, what to do with this uh, amount of garbage. And it's also that we're not aware of the new energy, we fail to understand them. And, and what is not uh, known and the fear of it, uh, uh, the source of it is quite in another channel than its uh, consequence. There is a huge uh, wave of informational pollution. So it also creates another fear. To admit that you're living wrong, that you're not living your life. And you're afraid of any life changes. Or maybe I'm just uh, fearful of to admit that I failed as a professional and finally do something. That is why there are certain reasons for that, very serious ones. Uh, the, the social structures are growing, like um, justice, uh, governmental structures, and the, the living life is being packed, packaged into non-living uh, structures. That's the pr issue, that's the problem. And we're being rigidized by these institutions, and the negative... Uh, side of it all is the fear to change it, to change these structures. And the social waste and pollution is our deeply hidden need to integrate, to unite, to connect, to connect with nature. I travel a lot. And and I uh, fail admit that some beautiful places in nature, the uh, places of uh, power, are so tra traumatized by our uh, treatment of uh, such uh, nature reserves, and they. And the portals, they uh, become closed, or clogged. And there's a feeling that there's less and less of such uh, pristine places which uh, would be open for public access. And if we all together united can uh, achieve another uh, meta position, a higher position, we may feel this very uh, urgent need and longing to be together, to understand each other, uh, to overcome any existing barriers, and to feel happy because of your job, a certain drive from your professional fulfillment. And there's a high demand to be connected to the living nature. And I'm sure all of us here in this hall today love nature, you do. And in conclusion of my speech, and the big question is, what the world do you want to see or live in? And uh, uh, just a nice hint, whenever you are in the Alps and the mountains, don't forget to take along your uh, beloved dog.
Спасибо вам за ваше внимание. Thank you for your attention.